Life Track with Chuck Swindoll is a presentation of Insight for Living Canada. My older brother, uh, Orville, is a man you've not met. He was a missionary for over 30 years in South America. On his way to South America, he did a little time in, uh, it sounded like he went to prison. He was in, <laughs> he was in Mexico for a while, and then he came back home, and then he went down to South America. And, he came home before he and Irma Jean and several in their family they had had by then, their kids, uh, went to South America. And so he drove up in the, in the driveway of our home in Houston. Got to understand my dad. My dad, you know, believes you're not safe unless you ride with a, drive with a parachute. I mean, you just got to be protected no matter what. You just never take a risk. You just, um, bless his heart, he never understood faith. Never understood it. My brother... Drove him crazy. So my brother pulls in this old Chevy, four tires, slick as a school teacher's leg. <laughs> old habits are hard to break. And uh, my dad looked at the tires. He always inspected tires when he drove up. Always checked the gas tank, see if we had enough gas. So we're sitting at the table, we finished collard greens and cornbread and red beans and great supper and sister and my mom left and doing the dishes and I'm sitting there, my brother's here, my daddy's here and I'm in the middle. I'm watching this happen. It's a verbal ping pong game. Son, how much money you got? Oh, dad, don't worry about it, we're gonna be fine. How much money do you have in your wallet? He says, I don't have any in my wallet. He said, how much money do you have? You're getting ready to go down to South America. How much money you got? So my brother digs in his pocket. This is Scout's honor. He pulls out a quarter. <laughs> puts it on the end and does a little <laughs> thump. I don't know how he did it, but maybe he'd done it before because it rolled all the way to the end of the table. I'm watching it go. Ting -ling 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 -ling. <laughs> Lands in my dad's hand and my dad said, uh, That is all you've got? My brother said, yeah, isn't that exciting? <laughs> Not the word my dad had in mind at that moment. My dad said something, and my brother's answer was profound. My dad said, Orville, I just don't understand you, son. My brother said, no, dad, you never have. How could you operate with a quarter and three kids? I don't know, but he did. And he never went hungry. And my dad never could understand it. I was raised with that. So this is not coming from, uh, you know, 60 plus year old Hudson Taylor preaching. This is coming from a man reared by a dad who lived scared. As a child of the depression or a man of the depression. I was reared in a family like that. My mom was always pushing him to the edge. I didn't learn faith from my daddy. I learned it from my mentors and my wife. It doesn't come naturally with me. I'm the worrier. You know why we don't learn it? Because we make such good livings because we don't give much away. That's why. Because we don't really trust. It's difficult to make sacrifices and give others our possessions, time, and money. But it's in the giving that we learn to rely on God instead of ourselves. And in the process, we learn faith. This is Steve Johnson of Insight for Living Canada. Listen to more of Chuck Swindoll's Lifetrack messages at lifetrack.ca. Lifetrack, where life and truth meet. The preceding Lifetrack presentation was brought to you by Insight for Living Canada. The original message, Sacrifice Giving Over, was copyrighted in 2004, and this Lifetrack sound recording was copyrighted in 2014 by Charles R. Swindoll Incorporated. All rights are reserved worldwide.